Something stands out at this election campaigning. A rickshaw is being towed around with a person symbolizing a fat, corrupt politician. The person driving it is Govinda Narayan. Govinda is contesting from Kathmandu constituency 1. The 37-year-old independent candidate is a lecturer of good governance at Thiruvan University and an agriculture entrepreneur by profession. Govinda says the inefficient and corrupt political system has frustrated the majority, if not all Nepali youths like him. But instead of complaining and looking for alternative, he says, he's decided to become an alternative himself by jumping into the political bandwagon. <laughs> Accompanying him is another youth candidate, Ujjwal Thapa. Ujjwal is a coffee farmer and an IT entrepreneur by profession. He is the chairman of Bibekshil Nepali Party. And he runs a popular blog, leadnepal.com, where he motivates young people to become active and accountable citizens. At the age of 36, Ujjwal is contesting independently from Kathmandu Constituency 5. He's up against big shots like Narahari Acharya of Nepali Congress and Ishwar Pokhril of CPNUML. But he seems unfazed by the fact. He says he's different from his contenders. <laughs> Youth in Nepal represent 42% of the total population in Nepal. Yet they are blamed for being apathetic and apolitical. But a growing discontent with the current political system has galvanized their opinion. Young leaders like Uchal Thapa and Govinda Narayan are now entering politics. A recent analysis done by a youth organization, Yuva, shows that there are a total of 6,128 candidates competing in the upcoming CA elections. Out of which, 2,497 candidates, meaning 40.75% of the total, are youth. The lowest age of the candidates for the first past the post system is 25, and this extends till 85. Since the last CA elections of 2008, even major political parties seem to have least acknowledged the participation of youth candidates. Nepali Congress has the lowest number of youth candidates this year. Just 4.5% of their youth candidates are below the age of 40. CPNUML has 10.42%. Meanwhile, Unified Mouse Party has the highest youth representation in this election with 40% contesting the polls. Following the lead is Madesi Janadikar Forum Loktantrik with 36.36% youth representation, while Rashtriya Prajatantra Party Nepal has 21.01% youth candidates represented in direct elections. Even during the last CA discourse, voices of youth leaders remained mostly unheard. Key decisions largely revolve around older and prominent leaders of major parties. The upcoming CA elections will be an opportunity to see whether more youths will get a chance to assume leadership positions and have their voices heard in the process. But this would require changing the tainted perception of youths regarding politics and convincing them that the nation's destiny is their own. Abushan Gotham, Kantipur TV, Kathmandu. <laughs> <laughs>